All right, guys, there's the news. It's out. The New York Jets have officially fired offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur after some early speculation, you know, uh, between Aaron Wilson and Connor Hughes and Zach Rosenblatt. Mike LaFleur is out as OC of the Jets. At the end of the day, there was just a real lack of growth. There was obviously ineptitude throughout the course of not only just this season, but last year. Last year, there was a couple of, uh, of, of excuses that you could throw in there. First time play caller, starting a rookie quarterback, who is Zach Wilson. Not a ton of offensive weapons, but this year, Joe Douglas goes out and signs two veteran tight ends to multi-year deals, drafts Garrett Wilson in the top 10, makes changes on the offensive line, makes Lake and Tomlinson one of the highest paid guards in football. The defense jumps up from 32 to a top five defense, and the Jets are losing games because of, again, offensive ineptitude. You can look at all their wins, mainly all their wins, and say, you know, whether you're a Jet fan or not, the defense really carried this team. The Jets won because of the defense. And to me, the the wheels really fell off in the last month, really December, and of course the final two weeks in January. The Jets end the season on a six-game losing streak. Uh, we can point to the lack of development of Zach Wilson. You know, is that Wilson being a bust, him not being a good quarterback, or is it Mike LaFleur not being a good coordinator, not know how, not knowing how to develop a guy like that? Is it a combination of both? Either way, the Jets have had not the it, second overall pick. Joe Douglas invested the second overall pick in Zach Wilson, and it doesn't look like he's gotten any better, any better in two years. And now it's looking like the Jets are going to be trying to pursue a veteran option, whether that be a Derek Carr, a Jimmy Garoppolo, who knows, maybe a Lamar Jackson. Uh, so we have the Zach Wilson issue. We have play calling issues, going away from the running game, throwing the ball way too much. We have slow starts. So to me, that 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 really emphasizes game planning throughout the week. And slow starts have been an ongoing issue, not only this year, but last year. Joe Douglas made, again, he made talent adjustments, added guys, added real NFL players to this offense. And although it did move, under the offense moved better under Mike White. At the end of the day, the offense was still not good enough to get the job done. Uh, but in the end, the month of December, in the must-win games, that's not hyperbole, that's not an over-exaggeration, in the must-win games, the Jets failed, epically failed offensively. You know, three points against the Jacksonville Jaguars, <sighs> six points against the Seattle Seahawks, with the play, things were breaking in the Jets' favor, like Miami losing to Green Bay and New England, you know, bot botching this game against the Raiders. The Jets are still in it. The, the playoff hopes are still alive. And it's like we go across the country and score six points against the Seahawks. Granted, it's a good Seattle team. They're a playoff team, but still six points, three points against the Jaguars. Again, 10 days to prepare for a third, 10 days to prepare for Seattle coming off that six point. It's just offensive failures. So, there is a long, long, long list of offensive coordinator candidates. Um, there's been some talks about bringing Gary Kubiak into the building. Obviously, Kif, uh, Cliff Kingsbury's out there. Frank Reich is out there. But he is taking some head coaching uh, interviews. I think he's actually taking one with the Carolina Panthers today. So that one's a little interesting. Um, but, man, this is going to be a really, really fun search as time goes on here, I'm hoping that something gets announced soon so the Jets can just get to work, right? We can establish a plan heading into free agency, heading into the draft, and move forward from there. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Mike LaFleur has been fired by the New York Jets. A move is being made. We have we have somebody else at the helm. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see who it's going to be. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, go Jets.